leads the way and she's doing it pretty well too regal gleam comes to the corner a half to three quarters on dolly m star glitters down on the inside it's enjoying a cozy run juventus having to work just a jingle peeling around it four deep coming into the bend followed by cubit and cundy then present a tie regal gleam races two and a half in front of star glitter dolly m down the outside is just a jingle but with 200 left to go regal gleam with a clear margin down the outside just a jingle star glitter his present a tie Regal Gleam getting swallowed up by Presenter Tie. Star Glitter, Presenter Tie. Right over the top, gets home to score. Presenter Tie beats Star Glitter. Juendas kicked through in the middle with Jester Jingle. They fought out third, probably in front of the tiring Regal Gleam. In behind them next of all was Dolly M. Anvil Green, Queen of Choice, followed then by Dusty Storm. Further back in the field to send Toki. The tail ender is Warbrook. Presenter Tie. Dashing over the top of them, William Pike aboard. Cracks it here in WA. Came here from New Zealand. Showcasing there in the cerise and white of Peter's investments. And storming down the outside, Star Glitter. Getting into second placing after travelling up there in the box seat behind Regal Gleam, who's one of three in the photo. Juentis the middle, Jester Jingle and Regal Gleam all for third. In 111-12. 111-12. Present a tie. Back there. Probably midfield. Just a touch worse behind them. But Pike bringing her down the outside. And uh, with the pace on Regal Gleam. Just having to work a little hard from that outside barrier. Took its toll in the last 100 metres of the race. And it was Starglitter the first to capitalise upon that great run it enjoyed. And then present a tie with that knockout blow in the final part, just finishing too strongly for them. By showcasing from uh, Valiera, ridden by William Pike, presenter tie beat four-star glitter by Mutuwajid from uh, Galia Sisalpina. For Nev and Carol and Parnham and Santo Waliado, Neville Parnham and Brad Parnham combining. And Juendis number seven in the middle is third by Demerit from Eucalypt Park. For Dr. Joe McDermott, Joe O'Day, trained by Jim Taylor, handled by Jason Brown. Three quarters and a half a length of the margins. The time up there is 111.17. So 4.10.160. Presenter tie wins her first race in the West. Star Glitter 190. Juendis 340. The favourite going down there. Regal Gleam in the final couple of bounds. Race four. The EBM Insurance and Risk Management Handicap at 3.20 this afternoon. It's clear of any changes there. Again, repeating. Connections of Smoko advised that they'll... Have Smoko ridden back midfield today in the next. We'll take you down now to the yard, and here's Adam, and he's with the managing part owner, Bob Peters, after the victory of Presenter Tie. Bob, a pretty consistent campaign so far. The first three runs beaten no further than three lengths, but today there looked to be a lot of positives. The bar players came off, a nice barrier, and William Pike back on board as well. Yeah, she's been running good races, coming home, and just getting beaten. Today, uh, she's just able to sit and just relax that little bit easier, a bit closer as well. And there was a nice tempo on, wasn't there, which was always going to suit? Yes, I was pleased when he had a few behind him at the start because uh, lately she's been further back than that. One that's been stretching out to 1,400 we even saw last prep. Is this her ideal distance, you think, the 1,200 metres? I think we'll stay in the shorter ones. She seems to be able to sprint well at the end of them. She sounds like, just from listening to you and Grant as well, one that's been, I guess, a bit frustrating, a bit harder work than some of the other ones that just rock up on race day and get the job done. Oh, no, I think it's just hard work because she hasn't won. What about Illuminator? That's your next runner coming up. We're going through those form lines from last prep behind the likes of Tradesman, Star Exhibit as well. Are you expecting a big, big prep? Uh, no, well, he's first up and uh, he's a horse that gets over ground, so uh, I'd be surprised if he could win, but if he's running on, we'll be very happy. And what are you thinking the JC Roberts? What's your best chance there? A final salute um, is, I think, the better horse of the two, but... Uh, the other horse races closer to the speed, which could be a good thing today. Bob, nice to see you presented I back in the winner's circle. Best of luck throughout the day. Thank you. There's Bob Peters with presented I getting the first win here in WA since coming across the four-year-old mare. She adds to her record now. Ten starts, three victories and three placings. Star Glitter finishing second on that occasion and Juendis in third. Mark, a really nice performance by Juendis running on strongly. Yeah, very strong effort, especially on a day where we've seen the first few winners come from nearer to the speed. Regal Glee may be first up over 1,200 metres. Had to do a little bit of work early. Then when the button was pushed, it gave a nice kick, but it will improve second up. Just a jingle. It looked 
have every possible. May have needed the run. Juendis was good. Star Glitter stuck on well. Another Parnham runner getting a second there. But all honest to present to tie this uh, showcasing mare from New Zealand. Great to see you get a win for uh, Bob and Sandra Peters. And Cerise and White, welcome back, William Pike, to Ascot. Exactly right. William Pike doesn't take too long to get back in the winner's circle. We'll speak to him now as he does weigh in. And Pike, he presented to us. just been one of those horses, as Bob said, that almost gets there. Hasn't quite done it. Nicer breakthrough today. Yeah, definitely nice to do it. Um, pretty much as you said, we've been trying to get this for a little while, so we, we finally got it, and hopefully we can get another one not too long away. How did she feel out there today? Is that the best she's been? Yeah, pretty much. Um, she sort of jumped very well, which at times I haven't been able to get away that well, and travelled good too, which is, so, you know, just today she was on song today. We've seen in those earlier races, it has been hard to make up ground. You were able to do so, we kiss, bang, love, but were you confident throughout that race you were going to be able to work into it and catch the leaders? No, not at all. I thought Regal Gleam had um, got a winning break on us, and... You know, those horses, once they're out in front like that, they're so hard to catch. So, no, I wasn't confident. Pikey, well done, mate. Best of luck throughout the day. Thank you. William Pike there, a winning jockey aboard of Presenter Tire, taking out race number three over the 1,200 metres.